open red tide in South Florida. Miami-Dade County confirmed. Bad for tourism, bad for us. Broward County suspected. We are seeing conditions that lead us and the Fish and Wildlife Commission to believe that the red tide algae is present off the waters of Fort Lauderdale. More test results coming and the health concerns growing. You get short of breath, you get uh, everybody knows you have difficulty breathing. Tonight, continuing team coverage of the Red Tide Health Alert. And there's a lot of new information since this time last night. While there are no widespread health issues to report yet, red tide is having an impact when it comes to our beaches. In Miami-Dade County, beaches north of Hallover Inlet were closed for most of the day after the toxic algae blooms were officially detective, detected. However, the mayor announced tonight those beaches will reopen in the morning. In Broward County, the waiting continues and beaches there also remain open for now. We have several reports tonight, beginning with CBS 4's Hank Tester live on Fort Lauderdale Beach. Hank. Well, these beaches remain open here, Fort Lauderdale Beach, and all the beaches in Broward County. And they, as you said, the uh, Miami Dade beaches, they'll open tomorrow morning. This all despite the fact we've still got red tide with us. Let's take a look. Fort Lauderdale Beach this night, the beaches remained open, as have all beaches in Broward County. The Fort Lauderdale mayor addressed the red tide issue. We are seeing conditions that lead us and the Fish and Wildlife Commission to believe that the red tide algae is present off the waters of Fort Lauderdale Beach. Broward County municipalities along the coast aware of the obvious impact of red tide, people coughing, sneezing, sore throats, but Broward officials hanging their hats on water tests performed by the state of Florida. Those results now promised for Friday. Further south, Miami-Dade County, a Miami-Dade cop on an ATV wearing a gas mask. He enforcing the closure of Hallover Park on Thursday. Mayor Carlos Jimenez ordered all beaches from Hallover Inlet to the county line closed. Not good. Bad for tourism, bad for us. But by late afternoon, Thursday, the Miami-Dade beaches were set to reopen. Why? This from Mayor Carlos Jimenez after talking to state officials. Please bear in mind that the Florida Department of Health advises people with severe or chronic respiratory conditions, such as asthma, to avoid red tide areas. Swimming is safe for most people. In fact, beaches on the west coast of Florida, which have been plagued by the red tide in recent months, remain open. But red tide is still out there. It's a reality. And as it moves south, a worry for scientists. I guess my concern is if it gets carried into Biscayne Bay, now you've got a more stagnant pool of water and there's higher nutrients in Biscayne Bay. If this species ends up liking the conditions in Biscayne Bay, you could end up with a more substantial bloom. Okay, we will learn a lot more come tomorrow when those results are released. If they are, I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News tonight. Back to you. Thank you, Hank. And this map shows where the greatest concentrations of red tide have been detected in Florida, red symbolizing the highest level. As you can see, the Gulf Coast has been dealing with the toxic blooms for months. The positive results here in South Florida mainly scattered so far.